Okay, my friends, we're ready to start our activity today. And um, parents, this is a little bit of a messier day. Um, I saw this very cute little crab craft on Pinterest and thought it would be perfect. And then your kiddos can also um, just have fun painting with their fingers and getting a little bit messy today. You know how much we love getting messy in preschool. So I just have some red paint. Um, definitely want craft paint for this and then like some Peter paint stuff that comes off pretty easy. The homemade DIY paint will probably work really well for this, although you might have a hard time making it red because it usually dilutes and becomes pink, but um, you can always have some pink crabs. I'm sure that your bloody most of your kiddos would be perfectly fine with that. So um, you just need some paint and then a white piece of paper. I have my little broken paintbrush here. This is all I can find. And what you're going to do is, this is like a hand print craft. This is a very adult guided in the beginning, and then you can kind of let your kiddos um, do some more creative exploration and painting um, on their own. So to get started, all you're going to need to do is um, get your kiddo's hand. You're going to want to paint it all the way red like you're wanting to get their hand print. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is always so much so silly because they always like, oh, it tickles. It's so funny. It totally does. I get that point. <laughs> Um, and once you get all nice and red, you only have to need to, you're only gonna need to paint it once, and I'll show you why. Once you get all nice and painted, um, and this works better with little hands, so I'm not gonna be able to do my whole hand, but you do most of it, and you want it, your palm on the center of the page, or their palm on the center of the page. So push that in, get it nice and red, and then you're gonna just need to fold it in half and push down and see what we've made. There's a little more, probably need a little bit more paint than what I use, but you kind of get the idea of it, right? And once you have your basic shape, you can even let your kiddos go in there and maybe paint it themselves and talk about how their fingers are like the crabs their legs, kind of cool, and how um, their little eyes or their little pinchers. You could add eyes if you want to. Little googly eyes would look awesome. Um, or you could draw eyes on once it dries. But um, I encourage you to make a little crab. Kind of cool, huh? Um, uh, and this, like I said, this is a very adult guided bit in the beginning. And then once you've made your crab together, I'm sure your kiddos would love that. They're already messy, so you might as well let them uh, maybe finger paint their own pictures. They could try to make the crab themselves. They can try to um, paint little crabs and big crabs and um, you can do different colors if you want to. This is completely, this is basically a guided little cutesy craft in the beginning and then just finger painting for the rest. So finger painting is an extremely valuable activity. Lots of um, creativity in that and, and exploration and willingness to get messy, which is um, big skills we're working on in preschool. So um, I hope you have some time to get a little bit messy and do some fun finger painting today. Um, I do want to let you know that tomorrow's activity requires a little bit of prep from you for uh, the night before. So um, I will have that video ready for you um, by the night before so you guys can look at it and um, get it ready to go so it's ready for Friday for your kiddos. So thank you so much for joining me today. I got to go wash my hands now apparently. <laughs> Give me some knuckles and I will see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.